Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all Leisure Suit Larry 7. Oh, I think we're actually nearing the end of this thing and as much as I love this game, I'm kind of kind of ready for it to be over. To be honest with you, I, I don't think we have all that much to do, but since we're in the uh, uh, Exquisite's little secret chamber here, we have not gone through this vent yet, which is something we need to do, and it takes us out. Uh, we'll find out. Well, nah, I don't want to spoil the surprise for those who don't know. So let's use the uh, the newly found screwdriver and make our way inside. Nice little Mickey Mouse reference there. Oh, this sounds like an interesting room. I say I can't see a thing. Your nothing is wrong with your screen. It's me, not you. She wants more. Let's see. There's a warm body here, and oh, there's something. There's me. Another warm body. That is beautiful. All right, big round thing. It might be a table. Uh, might be a table. It's me. Wow. Do oh I look God. hot or what? Yeah, you look great in the dark. Uh, let's see. Anything else around here? Warm body. Feel. Oh, let me Whoa. lick that. All right. Lick. Who the hell just licked me? <laughs> I want it all. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I love this part. Hey. 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 Oh. You miscalculate great. and end up licking air. <sighs> Who goes around licking strange people in the dark? Okay, well, you know Larry's gotta get in on this action. I think where am I? I I'm want it all. Over here somewhere? No, where am I? Sticky stuff. Oh, this it's is some perfect. kind of sticky substance. Boy, well, these guys sure know how to party. Uh, uh, Are you sure you want to lick that, Larry? Oh, yes. God. Hmm. On second thought, don't answer. Tastes a little like chicken. All right, well, let's get on in the action. We're not going to get left out of this little party. Hey, I don't want to be left out of this. Okay, girls, who wants me first? Don't all come at once. <laughs> That's a little joke I mean. What the hell did you say? Hey, turn on the light. Wop, wop, wah, 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 wah. Well, this is awkward. Blind dessert taste test. <laughs> that was close. This guy is all over it. It's nice to see the site challenged having a good time. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Fool. Fool. Miniaturist? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Surely I won't run into somebody <laughs> this time. Another walk of shame. How many walks of shame have I done so far? Oh, hey, oh, Peter. Wouldn't I love a bite of that? Larry. Oh. So nice you could drop by. How'd you know my name? And dressed for the occasion. Whoa, who's this? And <clears throat> gotta play it cool. Uh, yes, I uh, always like to be, uh, well, uh, dressed in, in, in things. Rats. <laughs> what a sap. I've got a problem, Larry. The old man. She oh, looks trustworthy. I think I can, I like her. Hmm. She must be his nurse. Yes, exactly. I'm tired, Larry. I got into this for a reason. To become a rich widow. But I'm so tired of waiting. You get me? She loves nursing, but she doesn't have enough time for sex. Oh, I gotcha. I thought it would be easy. He looks like he's ready to keel over any second. But he saves up his strength till we're back in the cabin. And then he wears me out. I've had my fill of boning that old coot. The constant pressure. The endless pounding. Oh, a physical therapist, too. Uh, I 
I wonder if it's true what they say about physical therapists. I see your problem and... And... I'm your solution! This is easier than I thought. So you're willing... To do the dirty deed? This is easier than I thought. Hey, sweetheart. I'm always willing to help a dame in need. What a putz. Yes. Help. I'll make it worth your while. How about a little sample? Right now. Sample? More like a taste of things to come. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> yep, yep, dab up. Oh, that napkin. I need that. Come by my cabin late tonight, and we'll work out the kinks. I'll lay out my plan. He'll do the killing. I'll get off scot-free. Sounds great! When can you fit me in? Uh, wait! What cabin? What's your name? See, like, that's the one instance of, like, real plot that happens in this game. I think it's the only instance of the plot that happens in this game. There, there's that napkin that I need. Lace hanky. Your mystery date seems to have dropped her hanky. Classy. Mine now. Okay, well, I have now been propositioned to perform a murder. So, let's go figure this one out. Wow, I feel like I haven't been back here in a long time. So, we don't know who she is or where they are, but the one person who would know is the purser. Maybe he can shed some light on who that mystery woman was. Uh, maybe not. Woman? It would not be prudent of me to talk about that. Hmm. Looks like if we take a closer look at the hanky, it's got some initials on it. This lacy silk handkerchief embroidered with the initials A.B. emits a faint odor. Ah, so we should smell it. Maybe, oh, maybe this is where the, uh, the, the Sniff-O-Matic 2000 really comes into play. It smells faintly of gardenias with hints of rose water and intrigue. Ah, you see, now we have to follow our nose, so we'll just kind of wander around the ship and see if we can kind of pick up the scent, Larry, you little bloodhound, you. Let's see if I can ask him about the initials. A, B. It would not... Oh, no. that's just woman? My... No. All right. How about old man? Old man. Could you tell me who that old man is in the wheelchair I've seen around the ship? Bingo. You seem to ask too many questions. Did you notice that? What are you up to? What? Oh, uh, why nothing? <laughs> it, to tell the truth, I'm gonna I kill was him. really interested in his nurse, the woman who was with him. I'm not sure you can be trusted. You're one of them, aren't you? Them? I'm on to you now. Hmm. Can I find out more about this ubiquitous them? If you have to ask, then you don't need to know. Maybe there's like some sort of uh, directory? Frank. Okay. Purser's desk. Hello, could you page someone for me? Uh, all right. The party? Miss Hug and Kiss? We have no one aboard by that name. First name, Amanda. Uh, uh, oh, I hate that. <laughs> He's a tough one. All right, but I can do other. Uh, directory? Perhaps you should ask the purser that, in person. Okay. I'll ask him about the directory. My job has nothing to do with that. I'm pretty sure it has a lot to do with that. Okay. Huh. All right, let's do some more exploring. Well, while we're waiting, we can kind of come back to the scene of the crime here and explore what's left of the set after uh, me and the jugs did our thing. Oh, I can go up here now. The Jugs must have lost the electric chase lights from their clothing in the frenzy of our passionate lovemaking. Either that, or their batteries run down. Eh, either way, mine now. What are you going to do with those? Anything that's not nailed down? 
has a purpose. Now here's something I always used to miss, that you can actually kind of sneak over here to the side and take a look at the quote unquote backstage area. Oh, look at the cute little karaoke machine. Fortunately for everyone, there is no tape in Mr. Karaoke Box. That's a reference to an old, old commercial, I think, where you could actually t use a microphone to talk uh, through your car speakers. It was, uh, it was a really bad idea. That's the remote control the sound engineer uses to turn on and off the jug's electric clothing. Oh, okay, well, I need that. There's a remote possibility you could use that. Don't be such a bee. Okay, so I have these chase lights, and if I push the button, Cool. Yes, the remote does control the chase lights, but now what? The jug's costumes were decorated with strings of battery-powered chase lights. Everything seems intact, but there doesn't seem to be any way to turn them on. I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard yeah, that. I kind of already have the remote there a little bit. Now, this part of the game is kind of a mystery to me. Apparently... <sighs> I've never actually figured out how you're supposed to know this, but the chase lights are integral to beating the puzzle with the, um, what are the, the horseshoes. Because what you're supposed to do is head down below where the, where the spike kind of goes through it, and you, you put the lights on it. I think I can just... Barely reach it from here. You're doing fine, Larry. So, it, the, when you turn the, the the battery on, it doesn't last for very long. But then the chase lights go, and that somehow magnetizes the the spike and makes you win the horseshoes every time. I don't understand how that works. Uh, if there are any, like magnets, how do they work? So what the heck? We'll just go ahead and get it done now. But. If anyone can shed some light on the physics behind this, I would love to hear it. I don't get it. I don't understand how battery-powered lights equals magnetism. All right, so I got my horseshoe ready to go, and then I think we just turn on the button here. Watch out. I don't get it. But whatever the case, ah! We literally, the magnet is so strong, it sucks it down from wherever, and you cannot lose. Congratulations, another ringer. Your attention, please. Larry Lapper has me. just won the horseshoe tossing portion of the competition with a record high perfect score of 100 points. Congratulations, Larry! You really stuck it to him! Excellent. All right, so that's that taken care of. Let's go back up and take a look at the whiteboard and see what it says now. Do not exit the horseshoe area without removing your scorecard from the horse's ass. <laughs> you horse's ass. Okay, sorry. I figured it would be automatic. Oh, they just I want- hope that's my card. They just want you to use this animation. <laughs> Please don't go anywhere without taking your cart from the horse's ass. In what other game would that be a recorded line of dialogue? Ooh, Al's out of the running. Now it's just me, Don, and Steve. Captain Thighs, what? You can almost taste the sweetness of victory. If you can win, that is. Oh, we got it in the bag. What are these guys going to do? So all that's left is bowling, and I think we have everything we need to finish that off as well. We might be just about done. Oh, wait, no, wait. We haven't done the um, the whole murdering of the old man thing. we got to figure that out, too. Um, I don't know what the reward is for doing so. Oh, I remember. Let's do this in order. Okay, let's go finish up the bowling, and then I think the story sort of takes over from there. Now, before we go down there, I need to remind myself of how to make that contact explosive. And I think the answer to that is the story of how Peggy lost her leg. So, um, how'd you lose your- Ah, uh, freak f***ing accident, that's how. One day, I inadvertently combined KZ Jelly with deodorant spray, forming a powerful contact explosive. 
There it is. That's what we need to know. All right. Goodbye, Peggy. Ouch. Goodbye it's forever. I don't think we ever need to talk to you ever, ever again. And that's kind of disappointing. Oh, and now that you've been to these places, you can actually see what's in there. Nice. All right. So let's use um, the deodorant, I think, in there. Because we can spray it all over the place. The KZ lube is going to be difficult to sort of generalize. That's going to be a little bit more of locally applied, shall we say. Good idea. You slyly open the hopper door and spray the entire can of deodorant all over the bowling pin. Now we're ready to go. All right, let's go bowling. All right, so hold it there. Get ready. Okay, don't go yet. So here's what we have to do. Uh, to form this contact explosive, we have to get the KZ uh, jelly. There it is, on the ball. But we can't just do it like this. Don't waste it. It's powerful stuff. All right. So what you do is you put it on the cloth like that dude did. Now things ought to happen. There we go. Now we're ready. Bowl on. This has got to do it. That's the way I like to see bowling done. <laughs> done? Your attention, please. Larry Lapper has just won the bowling portion of the competition with a record high perfect score of 300 points. Congratulations, Larry. You really blew the place apart. So, I win, right? There it is. Everything. Perfect points all the way. So now what do I do? Do I just go up to the uh, captain's cabin then? Do I win? Yep, I'm the winner. Captain thought your cheating has served you well. Now, just don't get caught. I'm fine. I can't get caught now anyway. I've won. Okay, Captain. Prepare to meet your new master. Ugh. Ugh. It's like hermetically sealed. Whoop. Hey. Hey, Popeye. Oh, dear. God, man. What happened to you? I'm last week's winner. Or what's left of me. Don't go in there. Are you sure you want to continue, Larry? I made it this far. I'm not quitting now. That's another instance you can put your own voice in there, but whatever. Oh, cartoon time. How Chuck Jones. Or is this Tex Avery? With my spirit magic helmet, I will penetrate you. I love these cartoons. I wish the entire game was this way. Oh. 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 There's been some terrible That's error. so heartbreaking. I was told the winner of my competition was one Larry Laffer. Oh. That's me already. That look of dejection on his face when she's so disappointed. It, it's so... You can just feel the heart being ripped right out of his chest. Captain Thigh has a face which did launch a thousand ships. Captain Thigh is beautiful, spoiled, and oversexed. Yeah, it's like I died and went to heaven. I am so excited about winning the free cruise and spending a week with a beautiful babe like you. Why, there must be some mistake. Uh, no, that was never part of the offer. I, I thought, you know, your cabin, a week of and me and... Oh. oh, poor Larry. But I won the contest, fair and... <clears throat> well, I won the contest. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, the cruise part is no problem. I'm sure your room is available next week. But... And I know that the winner is supposed to spend a week with me, but I'm filled with ennui. 
Is this just like, uh, oh, I have a headache kind of excuse, or do you legitimately have some troubles here? What do you mean, ennui? Ennui. Oh, it's difficult to explain. Not really. Ennui. Noun. Thank you. Listlessness and dissatisfaction resulting from lack of interest. Boredom. French. From the old French, ennuyé. To annoy, to bore. From the vulgar Latin. To quote John Barth, the servants relieved their ennui with gambling and gossip about their masters. Who the hell is that? Uh, I don't know, but I hear him all the time. Fourth wall shattered. Again. But how can you change the rules now? I thought I'd won the game. After seeing you, Larry Laffer, oh. suddenly I expect something more. And besides, I always say a man should give before he gets. But I've given so much. So, what do you really <laughs> want out of life, Captain? Oh, I don't know. The cruise game just isn't what it used to be. Once, everything was tinsel and glamour, jet setters and high rollers, playboys and loose sex, you know? And now, Richard Simmons and Kathy Lee. Besides, this was never my idea of a career. I want to return to my previous occupation. Oh, super tanker, Captain. Really? Oh, yes. I'd do anything to put some real mass under me again. I just can't understand why I lost that gig on the Boning Valdez, just because we happen to run aground. Oh, like it's my fault Hazelton would rather spend the night in my cabin instead of on that drafty old bridge. Hmm. Somehow, I can infer the fact that she's tired of sex from this conversation. Perhaps I don't understand the question. What exactly are you trying to say? <sighs> Why is it even an option? So, uh, what do you say? A little game of drop the anchor? You and me, stem to stern, tug and tanker? Larry, God, have you Larry, learned you're nothing? Pathetic. How'd you ever get past the Love Master 2000? Cheat? Was that a no? Hmm, okay, so she wants to go back to her previous life as a super tanker captain. I don't know anything at all about that. Uh, let me see if I can find out more about Valdez. I don't know anything at all. She mentioned the boning Valdez. I don't know anything at all about. Um, how can I help you? I don't know anything at all about that. Cap, you you've got to give me some. So you got. You but I thought you just automatically had sex with every guy who won your contest. Yeah, I did. Until now, perhaps it's time for a change. Ah, change. Okay, maybe that's an opening. I don't know anything at all about that. God damn it. I don't want to just leave. It's like, uh, what can I do to help you? If you want a job on a super tanker, what can I do? I don't know anything at all about that. You don't know anything about ships? You're a captain, for God's sake. I don't know anything at all about that. Well, if you have ennui, yeah, I guess you don't really know yourself all that well. All right, I'm kind of at an impasse with her. I can't think of anything to talk to her about, so... I think I have access to this room whenever I want, so we can come and go as we please. So, bye for now, I guess? I just remembered. I've got a meeting. Bye-bye. Yeah, right. You'll be back. Well, the door is now open. I can come and go as I please, but now she's full of ennui and she wants to go back to her life as a, a super tanker, captain, lady person. So, let's continue our investigation on this, uh, this lady with the initials A.B., I can't think of really where else to go, so we'll go back to the scene of the crime, or where we first met her, I suppose. Which was through here. I think we can just walk in now. Yeah. Cybersmith 2000. Alright, so that smells like chocolate. I remember that. The sneeze guard is an indispensable feature of the modern buffet's serviceless service. The Cyber Palm 2000 is not a real palm tree, merely an incredible simulation. The remains of the chocolate mousse form a small sticky pile in the center of the table. Still looks delicious though. You'd better watch out, Larry. Eat too much chocolate and you'll have to work out in your next game. No! Like you did in Leisure Suit Larry 3, Passionate Patty in Pursuit of the Pulsating Pectorals. Available wherever software walks and money talks. Yeah, whatever happened to my pectorals? I forgot how I gained all that weight back. I guess whatever happened in the interim between 3 and 5, I uh, kind of went back to the, my old ways. 
So this part is actually kind of clever, if I remember. If you kind of walk around the table a little bit, and then you notice... Oh! Well, no, 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 there's the chocolate. But if you come over here to this chair, it highlights the number four, which smells like the perfume. Uh-huh. Cybersniff 2000. I I like that. Even though it's kind of given away by the by the cyber sniff, it's a cool idea. There's a sheaf of folded papers here. All right. What is it? This life insurance policy in the amount of one billion dollars is on one Aristotle K. Boning, with the beneficiary listed as Annette B. Boning. It emits a very faint smell. There's nothing there to read. At least nothing your aging vision can detect. Oh, okay, got it. So now we have a name. A B stands for Annette Boning, and then her uh, the old guy Aristotle Boning. So now that we have a name, let's go back up to the purser and see if we can fill in some blanks. Yep, it's already there. I'm interested in boning. I'm your boy. No, 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 Make no. Make up your mind about me, Peter. Do not toy with my emotions. You're named boning. Damn. I never give out information to the public. Even boning one. Interesting. All right, so how are we going to figure out what to do with this guy? Oh, so I can use this phone to call Annette Boning. Purser's desk, what do you want? Yes, uh may I please have the Boning cabin? Connecting. Hello? Are you Boning? We were, till this damn phone rang. Oh, okay. Well, that got me nowhere. So, Aristotle is to home. So, we're able to connect to the cabin, but there's no... I have an idea. Let's see if I can sort of get him to step away, and maybe I can kind of fiddle with his computer or his phone or something. I'm a little worried about the charges on my account. Could you check my balance for me? Of course. Wait here. I'll be right back. Your computer's right there. Okay. This button displays the last number dialed on the telephone's liquid crystal display. Good idea. Go oil? Yeah, that's real helpful. What in the hell good does that do me? Larry, the phone's upside down. And your point is? That's 71009. The Boning's phone number is 71009. I knew that. The 7 indicates a guest room on this ship. 1009 is their room number. Huh. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. That, that could be helpful. All right. Got it. Uh-oh. We better get out of here before Peter comes back. Oh, now. This oh, I wouldn't little... worry. It seems Captain Thigh has flagged your account. Huh. Hey, thanks, Butch. Okay. Cool. All right, so now the owner's suite appears. Late that evening. Ooh, more plot. Never mind. Okay, I think it's just telling me that it is evening. Now, I know there's an Easter egg involving these statues somehow. I forget how with these packages here. Plastic bulge. Checking out the old competition again? What? Me? No, I was just, um... <laughs> Admiring the workmanship. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The maids are rather fetching, but those guys remind you of the bullies who used to kick sand in your face at the beach. What do you mean, used to? Oh, sorry. Anyone who wears a top hat like that can't be all bad. All right. A tasteful gold nameplate above the button says, Boning. Remember, Larry, she said she'd leave the door unlocked. What the... Why is this on fire? Is that... Oh! Oh, neat. Oops. Neat. So if I get next to them, they go on... Okay. Cool. All right. What's this all about? Yeah, all right. Sprucing up. You got a date, baby. All right, so this is kind of an interesting uh, little puzzle here. So, obvious female silhouette. Nothing else you can really look at in this entire room. Big and 
oblong and wooden. Hard to say. Could be a packing crate. Could be a coffin. Nice view from out here, though, I gotta say. There's not a lot of light in here, but there appears to be one absolutely luscious body lying there on the bed, in the darkness, waiting for you. Something... Y y you know nothing is ever as it seems here. It feels like a bed. It smells faintly of gardenias, with hints of rose water and intrigue. All right, so it smells like her. Not everything and everybody wants to talk to you, Larry. Hey, keep your voice down, narrator. We're supposed to be quiet. Okay, baby. This is it. Yep, dark and dangly. Oh, yeah. Oh! I like how she doesn't move at oh. all. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a young lady. What? Uh, Annette? What? You were humping his catheter bag. Larry, what are you doing? You weren't supposed to kill him yet. I... Uh, I thought you were... Safely asleep next door? Yes, it's all becoming clear to me now. A heart attack, no evidence, very neat. But now I'm the patsy. Jeez, the old guy's one sound sleeper. Hey, maybe we should go to your room and let this old geezer rest in peace, huh? Oh, I think this is exactly where you want to be. Oh, no! She thinks I'm a homosexual! No, no, it's not like that at all. Drop the dumb act, pal. You had this planned all along. But when does the other shoe drop? What's his game? Annette, you don't think I'm a homosexual? Oh yeah, I do think, you cold-hearted bastard. I guess we'll do it your way. Let's get this stuff out of here. Hey. Hey! My clothes! Does he want evidence lying around? I think you'd better leave now, before you help me even more. Aww. Ah, hell, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Let him come. Take a look. Take a gander. See what you want. Oh, two for a nickel. Yeah, you do care. Look, you're wearing a diaper. Mommy, why is that funny man wearing a diaper? <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's go back up there. I have I have an idea. You just love to touch, touch, touch. There we go. I remember the Easter egg. So you have to unzip one of these things, and then suddenly I think you get a little extra scene. Now. If you get all the Easter eggs, I think I mentioned there is an extra scene at the very end, but I think I've missed too many to get it. But uh, if you guys want, I'll be more than happy to go back and play through again real quick, just so I can show you the ending stinger if you get 100% and whatever. Yep, she's happy. Yep, there's your bonus. More boobs. All bonuses equal boobs. She got dressed quickly. Yes? Oh, it's you. Uh oh. It's good to see you again. Um, well, I was just kind of wondering if there's any way I could get you in bed. If we could, um, talk. I'm not sure what we have to talk about. Alright, let's get the pickup line for now. Let's go right to the chase. I haven't seen your old friend around lately. Is everything okay? Yes. Everything's fine. Here it comes. I hope he's having a nice rest. Gosh, does she have a great body or what? Oh, he's resting comfortably. So it's blackmail. Ah. You know, um... About the other night, um, well, I just wanted to, um, convince you I'm not gay, <laughs> personally. 
Look, you did what you had to do, but I don't want to talk about it, okay? But I, well, oh, all right. So, uh, baby, what's your sign? Octagonal. Huh? As in, stop. Oh, how do I get what I need out of her? Because she has something I want. Right, right, the last thing, the last part of the puzzle. We have the life insurance policy, but why was it under the chair? This is probably for you. I have something I believe you want. Oh, that damn insurance policy. Now it's gonna cost me big time. Why, yes, I believe that is mine. Thank you for returning it. Um, I was thinking, you know, um, well, for something as special as this, don't you think, well, you know, a little extra thanks would be in order? <laughs> like sex? Oh, I don't think I have anything you'd want. Oh, I think you have plenty of what I want. Think. Think. How am I going to get rid of this schmuck? I just don't know. What do you say I come inside? Your vault. All right, Larry. I know what you want, and if I give it to you, I don't want to see you again. You understand? No more. That's it. We're through, capiche? She wants me to have sex right now, and she doesn't want me to call her later. Oh, it's a dream come true. You're reading my mind, sweetcakes. Ugh. Okay. Wait right here. I wonder what this is a poster Man, of. A guy's gotta jump through hoops just to get this chicken bed. Okay, Larry. I don't keep much cash around, but this is worth a lot more than you deserve. Now I'm Scray. Skedaddle. Huh? What's this? Half a billion dollars worth of stock? Oh, but I wanted to get laid. <laughs> Half a billion dollars in stock. Okay, Larry. You know what? Never mind. I'm sick of pointing out what an imbecile you are. This stock certificate is for five million and one shares of stock in Boneco Transportation. Since the fine print says there are only 10 million shares outstanding, this makes you demand. Great. Yeah, so now I am majority stakeholder in one of the biggest transportation industries in the world. Not to mention also the owner of this very cruise ship. Well, whatever. When it comes to getting Larry, you know, taken care of, money is no object. I'm back! Excuse me while I try to hide my enthusiasm. Yeah, I'm excited too. Here's half a billion dollars. And actually, she did mention that she used to work for the Boning Corporation uh, as the crew, as a uh, tanker captain, and now she basically owns the company that she got fired from. You know, Cappy, I just might be the boy who makes your dreams come true. Oh, this is doubtful. Extremely doubtful. What would you say if I told you I recently came into a significant position in a major shipping line? I'd say we were both dreaming. Well, dream no more, sweet cakes. Let me whip this out. God, how crude. Yep, crude it is. Crude oil shipping. Well, I'll be damned. Does this say what I think it says? That you're... Nothing less than the proud new majority shareholder of Bone Code Transportation. Only the number one crude oil shipper in all the world. This changes everything. Sure does. But operating the world's largest fleet of super tankers is so demanding. The environmental groups, the regulators, the constant turnover when captains strike major continents. Turnover can be a good thing. Well, I am looking for someone to fill a position directly under me. Mm-hmm. Oh, Larry. <laughs> Although I just love opera, how about we listen to some of my music? Oh, so, baby. 
question is, I, I, I know this is the end of the game, and yay, Larry, you're, you're finally getting, you know, Captain Thigh, whatever. Put but, on these handcuffs, laugher. Oh, no. Right back where we belonged. Wah, 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 or started. So now, my question is, does this mean that I remain the, the big sh uh, shareholder of the industry, and she now works for me? Or did I give her ownership of the company? I'm confused. That... Uh, Oh, I was kind of liking that cover of Cool in the Gang. And that's it. <laughs> that's the game. Um, I believe if you you get all the dilds and all the Easter eggs and, and a thousand points and everything, and I'm surprised I did not get a thousand. I was I ended up at what, like 976 or, or something? You do get like a special little uh, two second video at the end. Uh, of you and Captain Thigh, which I don't think I've actually ever seen legitimately. I, I looked it up on YouTube just to see what it was, and it does exist. So, if you guys want to see it, I would be I would love to go back through and just do a real quick uh, playthrough and get everything done and, and get that scene and finally say I got a thousand perfect score in Leisure Suit Larry 7. Cross that off the old bucket list. And that's it for the entire Leisure Suit Larry series. That's Kind of exciting and also depressing at the same time because after Leisure Suit Larry 7, they left it alone for the longest time and then I guess there was a point in history where they wanted to revive a lot of the old game series. Um, and it's still going on you now that we have, you know, King's Quest. They, they tried to resurrect a Space Quest for a quick second, but it, uh, it never really happened outside of some fan games like, uh, like Space Quest uh, Incinerations was a, a big one, which I've, I never actually finished. It was a good game. Um, but afterwards, uh, I, somebody picked up the rights to Leisure Suit Larry. I, I don't think it was Activision. It was some other company. And they made... Uh, uh, not, not Box Office Bus. What was the other one? The, can't, the one on school. I can't remember the name of it. Ma Magna Cum Laude. That's what it was. And it was just kind of a collection of mini games with boobs. And it didn't, st it didn't star Leisure Suit Larry himself. But uh, his son or his nephew or cousin or something, Larry Loffage or La I don't know. It was a, a kind of a, it was a bit of a stretch. And it was really, well, I don't want to say it was a game without merit entirely. Some of the dialogue was actually pretty funny, but it was even more of a sexist, misogynist game than this one was. And then Box Office Bus came along and made it even worse, I think. Think about, like, uh... Uh, not that I know of such things, but like those kind of like flash dating sim porn games, like those anime style. It was kind of like that, but to a lesser degree. Oh, and here's all the cover information for all the uh, the songs that they use. Uh, that's kind of cute. Oh. Okay, I don't remember this. Oh, yes I do! This is the teaser for a sequel that never happened. I think it was also supposed to be Leisure Suit Larry Lust in Space, which was kind of cute, but oh, 976 out of the thousand, I've completely forgot about that. But that's not the bonus scene, there is something else on else entirely. And oh, and I missed one, I completely forgot to finish this up. Lame, oh, god knows how long it's been since I saved. Uh, oh no, oh, oh, the game got me, oh, it's about to format my C drive, oh no, but it's given away because the cursor is still here, gotcha, <laughs> and now <laughs> the game legitimately quits, and that's it, the Legion Suit Larry series is done. I asked you guys if you wanted to see Magna Cum Laude or Box Office Bust, and the answers were overwhelmingly no. There's a couple people out there that wanted me to suffer, but I will not suffer that much. So that's it. Legion Suit Larry is done. Um, I think now, uh, since we made it all the way through that series, I and every, you guys have spoken, it was on, a, on the poll, I think it's time to take a nice little break and do some uh, King's Quest VI, I think. Let's do all the endings. We'll see everything. I'm really excited to get that started. So until then, as always, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night. <laughs>